Um, <clears throat> back in 1985, I was in the city of Carlisle in Cumbria. Um, back in the good old days when everywhere had a proper junk shop. Not an Oxfam shop, not a charity shop. They all had junk shops. Um, I was in this junk shop. It was one off the beaten track. If you know Carlisle, you go up the back streets. You go <clears throat> to what was once a grand house. Not there anymore now. And instead of going up into the house, you went down into the cellar, <clears throat> in a room, um, room, fireplace, blocked off, things hanging up here, there and everywhere. It was converted into a shop, probably owned by the person at the time. Um, was in this shop, full of stuff, <clears throat> hanging on the mantelpiece of this blocking fireplace were three Royal Artillery uniforms. One was a post 1960 with anodized buttons, no interest at all. One was a mess dress tunic, no interest at all. <clears throat> and the other one, <clears throat> was a 1940 Brigadier's tunic, jacket, a waistcoat, trousers, forage cap, lovely wire embroidered badge, all the metal ribbons on it, brass buttons, 1940 dated Savile Row Taylors, how much is that? £20. So in 1985, I bought this tunic, um, did a bit of research, named inside G. Rutledge, 1940, so I ended up buying it, did a bit of research, found out that it was George Rutledge, who was a mayor of Carlisle, in between 1950-51 so how his stuff got into this junk shop I don't know nice metal ribbons um, I asked the woman at the time had any medals no medals at all so there's never been any medals with them so this is what I got for 20 quid back in about 1985 so I'll just unscrew this and we'll have a look and I won't go back to myself well, right what I got was the nice brigadiers tunic Cross belt, um, holster for the Webley pistol, First World War. Really nice footage cap with the bullion wire embroidered badge. Inside, it's got the really nice Geeves and Hawks Savile Row Makers label. Brigadiers, enamel crown, enamel pips. Metal ribbons would have been interesting medals if I could have got all of them. The MBE, Military Cross, Military Medal, 1415 Star, 1415 War Medal, Victory Medal with Oakley for mentioning dispatches, India General Service 1930s, 3945 Star, the uh, France and Germany Star, and the Defence Medal. So that would have been a nice set of medals to get. Inside, if I get it down on the back, and as I say, I hope this piggin battery lasts. Jarvis and Hamilton, Maker's Mark, named to Brig G. Rutledge and his service number, and the date it was made, 23rd of the 4th, 1940. And as I say, I did a bit of research, and it turned out the guy was Mayor of Carlisle. And that's the Webley holster. And if I can get it undone. I don't think I'll be able to, but really nice condition. Webley holster, leather cross belt, Sam Brown belt, it's called. Really nice brass Royal Artillery buttons. Inside, I won't undo it, but it's got the trousers with the red stripe down them. It's all complete. It's a little bit dusty because it's been in storage. I'll have, to, I'll have to get it, I'll have to get it cleaned up a bit, but yeah, that's. The former Mayor of Carlisle's dress tunic, Brigadier George Rutledge of the Royal Artillery, 1940, bought in a junk shop in Carlisle, which is no longer there, for the princely sum of £20. That's quite a nice item.